everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Uh, today is episode one of visiting Taunton Cider Company. I've had the best day ever, just such an interesting day. I met Jonathan and he's been telling me so, so much um, about him, the business, the cider, the awards that they've won, the orchards, just all of the future plans that they have. And to be honest, it's mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. So we started off in the office and I got to chat to Jonathan. He told me a little bit about the process and the history of the business. And I didn't realize that the Taunton Cider Company is actually a very, very old brand, very, very old name. But unfortunately, it um, it basically, it, it disappeared. It got swallowed up by Matthew Clark. The whole story is on the website, but it got lost. So I think it was 2015, it got re-registered and the brand was alive again. Now in Jonathan's own words, they're not doing anything different in the sense of, you know, it's not a magic cider, but they are just being the best at what they are. They have won so many awards, like their certificates all over the wall. And considering, you know, the short space of time that, that they've been going, that is seriously, impressive. One of the things that the Taunton Cider Company are huge about is the carbon footprint. And they've worked out how much carbon is stored in the orchards, how much oxygen the trees release. They've been looking at the insects and the wildlife that, that exists sort of within the orchards themselves. And it is just mind blowing. They invest into local companies, local traders to come in to the business. Everything is around keeping the carbon footprint low. And he joked, he actually said to me that when you are drinking a bottle of our cider, you're actually helping save the planet because of the carbon that it's taking in and the oxygen that it's giving. And if you think about it like that, he's right. So today's episode is about going to one of the orchards that they'd recently acquired. It was only about a month ago that they acquired this orchard and I was told it was in a pretty, pretty bad way. But to me, the average Joe, that, that didn't really mean anything. So we drove out there and this is what we saw. So this is the orchard when we literally just got out of the car, a couple of miles away from the Taunton head office uh, in the middle of town. And as you can see, it's just obviously rows and rows and rows of trees. You sort of walk down the orchard, you can sort of see how bad the, uh, the the sort of state of affairs is. The trees are all bent over, there's branches everywhere. The orchard just hadn't been sort of maintained for a long, long time. So we walked down through the orchard and we eventually met the guy, the director of orchards, who is uh, responsible now for getting this orchard back up uh, into a, a better shape. So they're just pruning these trees basically to concentrate the, the growth of the apples. And they're having to be pretty brutal as well. Now the idea is that if you think about the water and the nutrients coming up from the ground, you don't want that to have to travel for large distances through the tree. So the idea I think is to keep the branches sort of fairly short but still get that same amount of growth. That way you, uh, you actually get better apples for it. Now that there, if it was sort of just upright a little bit more is almost a perfect tree. And that's what they're aiming for throughout the whole orchard. And that was my trip to that orchard. I'm hoping to see some of the other orchards that will be in much, much better condition so that I've got something to compare it to. It'd be really interesting to sort of see how this orchard actually sort of grows and I'm hoping to go back and actually sort of see it get better and better and better. The plans that they have are amazing. They're going to get local schools involved. They're going to get the kids to learn about the ecosystems and the environment and the cider making and things like that. They're going to put on events that you can actually have within the orchard. They're going to do sort of private uh, bookings and things like that. It just sounds absolutely amazing. Now this is all very well and good, but this is about cider. It's about the taste, right? Now I can assure you because I've already tried some of the cider, this cider is on point. But the next episode that I'm going to do is I'm going to drink it 
and I'm going to try and use as many adjectives as I can to describe to you what the cider actually tastes like. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your experience of the Taunton Cider Company. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It means everything to me and I really appreciate the support. Ring the notification bell and then you'll get an alert for when the next video comes in. And I'll see you soon.